your will to be done is a mountain. You're planting seeds, Lord. Planting seeds. These people are meeting you for the first time, oh Lord. And I pray that you touch them, Lord. I pray that you help them, Lord. I pray that you make a way, Lord, regarding their situations. I know some of them are hurt, some of them are feeling like no one cares, Lord. But I know you love them, Lord. I know you love them, God. I know you love them, Lord. And we're asking for your spirit to come, Lord, and touch us all, Lord. Have your way in these days, Lord. Wake up the true people. some food here don't let it get cold <laughs> come on down chow down hey how's it going not too bad oh help yourselves man yeah, i'm pastor joe i just this is what i do i stay away from the buildings and i come out into the woods <laughs> yeah man yeah what's your name chris Meet you, man. Just help yourselves. Uh, there's a, I think that's chicken, that's rice, mm -hmm. and uh, more rice, be, rice and beans. <laughs> Don't be jealous, bear my way, man. Come on down, man. Come on down before the food gets cold. <laughs> Instead of talking that mess, why don't you bring your ass on down? That's right, that's right. Come fill that tummy, man. <laughs> He wants to be different. He's chopping all that wood. Yeah, he's going to be hungry later. <laughs> Tastes better when it's hot. <laughs> oh, man, I'm doing this one. I don't have no one with me, so I apologize, man. I just, this is who I am, though. I've been doing this for about 30 years. And uh, on OBT, we had a, like a nine-acre homeless camp. And a lot of those guys, man, they just needed a little help. You know, this one man, he was out there, 70 years old, man. I was like, why are you out here? He's like, I don't know. The check stopped coming. I took him to SSI. The check came right back. It, it was an easy fix. I'm like, man, you got to figure out what's going on with some of the people, man. And some of the stuff's too easy to just let someone be abandoned. You know, too bad. Huh? You know, too bad. Like that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Lloyd. Uh, oh, and T, T Dog's another one, and Road Dog, and and Rambo, and uh, Rambo's off the streets right now. The the one with the white beard, he's he's living close to where I'm at. I'm just right block away or two. He, I think he's sharing a room with some of the guys. That some some of them got off the street together. They got like a landscaping business going on, so it's really making a way. And. But I'm just grateful to find you guys. I, I knew you guys were here. Yeah, I, I just, man, it's like, but I just got done watching something literally before I came here, and it just blew me away. Um, what somebody could do with pallets. They actually built a complete cabin. And they were they, they were doing it for hunting reasons, and they made that thing look professional. I'm trying to get someone to donate some land so so we get like a, yeah that's big oh people are selling that on eBay people make stuff out of crates I see it all the time and with all this space out here as long as no one's bugging you man it's amazing what you can do but I, I just saw them build that cabin for free 
just because they had a bunch of pallets, out of pallets. I got a guy on OBT, he did that. He, he's new to homelessness, but I told him, I says, if you don't jump up and get that job right back, you're gonna stay homeless. And he, sure enough, he, he tried for a while, and then, then he was around the crowd that just wasn't trying. I said, well, it's up to you. But, but he got behind a tire shot because I said, the next best thing is to find someone who will let you stay on their property, get permission in writing so the police don't hassle you. And now he's like the security guy behind the tire shop. And he, he's got like a, a village with the crates and stuff like that. And he's only been out there for like a year or two. OBT in Americana, you'll see a tire shop right behind. That's him. Yeah, yeah. That camp there was the one I was helping a lot. Uh, Bonnie is no longer on the streets. Uh, they got their veteran administration finally kicked in. It took two years. You know, Lloyd, he's in heaven now, but he, we got his check back turned on just by taking him to SSI. That's all it was. But he had no one watching his back, a little old man. And right now we got a lot of seniors out here, you know, they, they just don't know what to do. And I, I'm trying to teach the, these people who say they got homeless ministries. I says, look, it's all nice and dandy that you're doing the food, but find out what else they need. ID. You know, ID. IDs are free right now. Not for me. Not for you? you Have you heard of iDignity? I don't know about Matthew's Hope, but iDignity will get you to ID. How's it going? <laughs> I'm Joe, Pastor Joe. God bless you guys. And help yourselves, man. But uh, uh, the third Thursday of every month, um, um, and I know it's not convenient, I heard that uh, what they're doing with our dignity is, and they need to have one out here in Winter Garden, is one day out of the month, all the different companies and agencies are under one roof that has to do with getting your ID. That means birth certificate, vital statistics, which that's what it sounds like you need. You got to get in touch with vital statistics. So if they let you use a computer at Matthew's Hope or somewhere, uh, you, you apply for that birth certificate. I had to do it myself. Reapply because I'm born in New York too. So I know about the ID hassle. You know what, you know what town you're born in? Your mother's maiden name at the hospital? Oh, we go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, you're, you're blessed, man. If you guys need anything, let me know. I'm, I'm not far away, but uh, I used to do this every week in Orlando. And right now I'm trying to educate people. Please do more than feed people. Find out what's going on if they need anything else. Uh, maybe a ride to the SSI office to get the benefits turned back on or whatever. I got rescue dog. I can use dog food. Dog food? Yeah, I, I, re I rescued two dogs. From Did you? Yeah. Man, I saw the little Dotson looking dog no, around I here. I here two times, shepherd puppies. Okay, shepherd puppies? Man, I'll find out who's got dog food. I do all this with no help, no money, no nothing. I just go out and love, but I, what I did was I investigated all these so-called agencies. What do they do? Because when I come across a new person, you know, it's, if you've been homeless, you already know everything as far as who got this, where the food boxes are, who's the feeding. Winter Garden, I gotta learn. Orlando, I got it memorized. Your, your, your lights Winter are about Garden, to- Orlando got nothing here. Matthew uh, Hope, Matthew want to be Hope. <laughs> I don't know them well enough, you know, but I know they're you guys cooked. don't, you don't have any uh, feeding programs out here that do the hot food. They're or they're 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 Koei. Koei, right, right, yeah. They ain't got nothing yeah. here. We Christian wish. Service Center, that's what we said. Brent, they, they, they. Okay, Christian Service Center. And I do know that we got to start bugging, what you may call it, that lady at uh, uh, the Lost Sheep, it's called Ministry. Matthew, Matthew Hope gave her the showers that trailer with all the showers yeah. it's sitting in her driveway man we could get her to bring it out here you guys would have showers yeah, somebody take right, <laughs> yeah. right now you can get a shower at Matthew's open five days a week oh yeah that's good to know in the morning every morning every morning five days a week yeah. you get a shower there every morning Matthew Hope where Matthew's open not every morning it's again five days a week and you, get you, you get yourself a five yeah. gallon. You get yeah. yourself a five gallon. Uh, you get upside down with a hose and a, a nozzle. You can, you can rig it up. 
Yeah. 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 Come get some food. <laughs> feel, feel free to give food to the doggy too. Yeah. Oh, she will definitely eat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, I got it, yes. <laughs> oh, rice. Uh oh. It's on now. Yeah, it's on now. <laughs> Why are you spit it out, sissy? I'm not going to hear you. Some type she's not good with some type. Yeah. You guys getting much visitors out here? Anybody? Yeah. Yesterday. Oh yeah, I know I was here yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just came to find out if I could bring the food, you know, and uh, I was talking with him. Yes. Yeah, I don't know where he went, but <laughs> he's the one that told me, come at 12. I'm like, really? You sure that's not too early? Because <laughs> yeah, okay. most of the camps, you know, they're I think late. he went to bed kind of late. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, feel free, man. What kind of music you guys like? Huh? Any, whatever. Huh? Country? Yeah. yeah. I, think, uh, I need some I country songs, right? I'm trying to do it. I know tears in hell. Classic rock is fine. Rock, 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 rock. Skinner. Skinner. Oh, man. Okay. Skinner, man. I was, yeah, was rewriting the words for Freebird last night trying to say, okay, come on. Come on. I'm going to be leaving one day. I'm going to be free as a bird. <laughs> Anyway, you know, there's a prophecy. Come on, come on. You guys might not realize this, but there's a prophecy in the Bible. I'm not trying to preach, but you know what I'm saying? There's a thing that's going to happen in the last days, and it's happening right now, where a lot of the churches are being humbled. Okay, to shut down with the coronavirus and all that. A lot of churches are closing up shop. But, you know, in the Bible, Jesus said about this one parable. And it was like, wow, that hit me so hard. There was a supper made, and the people he supposedly has a relationship was invited. And they all made excuses why they couldn't come. And so the king gets mad and tells the servant, you know what? Go out into the highways, go out into the byways, go invite people here. He says, uh, Master, I did that, and there's still room. Go out into the hedges. Go out into the I said, listen to that. Listen to those words, hedges. Who lives in the bushes? And so I really believe that in the last days, God's going to stir up a lot of people that, you know, it's not going to be in the four walls that we call the church. There's going to be people out here that says, you know what? Well, it's gonna be a, it's gonna because be a, you know what? It's going to be a revival. Yeah, and enough. the revival is starting already. Yeah. I know I'm part of it. I know that I'm just trying to tell people, you know what? Number one word, love. And that's what we need is more love, more compassion. We need to act like a brother and sister instead of like we're at war with each other. And sometimes that's not easy, right? right? Every, somebody gets on your nerves, you know, but you notice my, my shirt don't have no buttons on it. You know why? I don't want nobody to push my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Think about all the times we are out here and we get angry. Somebody did. I said, man, you know what? They got the power. And here's the, here's the trick. They got the power because they're stealing my joy. So if I could learn not to let everything get to me, you know, I, I used to work at Sears a long time ago. I was training people how to get on the phones. I had to teach them a, a thing called Q-tips. What's a Q-tip for? Keep the junk out of our ears, right? Well, Guess what Q-tip stands for? Quit taking it personal. You'll remember that one, right? Q-T-I-P. Quit taking it as much as you want. I make, no, make, I was, make, I was, I'm leaving all this. I'm leaving all this. So. I was five years old. My mother took me to your doctor. <laughs> and um, your doctor told me the only thing you're supposed to put in here is your elbow. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Is that what your name again? Brian. Brian? I'm yeah. Joe. All right. They call me Bama out here, bro. They call you what? Bama. Bama. B A M A. Trip for Alabama. Bama. Bama. Oh. Short Short foot. Short foot. I don't know the words. <laughs> <laughs> or can't you see? Can't you see? I changed it up a little bit. God is not finished with me. <laughs> anyway, that's what I do. I have fun with songs. I write, I write, I write parables and I interpret the parables. There's something that God showed me that I haven't seen anyone else teach ever. That all the parables are prophecies. They're all prophecies. <laughs> and so, you know, I tell people, people are going to be shocked one day who's actually making it to heaven. It's not what people think. You know, that little parable about the wide road and the narrow road, it's not what people think. Because Jesus says, you know what? And they, it's like, I don't know you. And so when they started to respond, but hey, we got ministries. We, 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 we're doing this in your name. We prophesied in your name. And how, how could they prophesy in his name and not know him? That's, that's something to think about. And I tell people one of the scariest scriptures I've read in the Bible is when he comes, we'll even find faith on the earth. And so I've been doing this for over 30 years. Yep, well. And what I found out is people been hurt. People been hurt by church, hurt by people. And sometimes that is the God's getting the blame for what a person did. And I, I try to remember that to, you know, somebody did me wrong, that person did me wrong, not God. You know, I, I have to put the, the blame where it belongs. You know, because there's a lot of people saying they're, they're a believer and this and this, but Jesus said you're going to know them by their fruit. You know, you're going to know who's my disciple if they have love for one another. So, you know, there's only one way when you when you when you your uh, treasures in heaven, your yeah. reward your rewards in heaven. There's only one way. It's through your mouth. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how how long have you been out here? Well, no, actually, uh, I ain't even all the way out here yet. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> It's nice out here. I tell you, in Arizona, there was like 15 acres of, of people living out there. I almost wanted to join them. It was so, I mean, I love the woods. I miss nature. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of ways to do that kind of stuff. And more people are going in that direction. There's a trend going on right now. And I'm trying to get someone to donate land for me so I can build these little tiny homes. But that's a trend. People are actually selling their houses, building a tiny home on wheels, and they're saying, no more landlord. I got my home on wheels, like an eight by 12 trailer, and they make it. But I'm upset right now. I'm just sharing my heart a little bit. I'm upset that people have made it a business to the point where these things are, they're selling them for 70,000 or higher. And I know it don't cost that much to, to build them. So, but I, but after, just before I came here, I saw a video, a guy taking pallets apart. He built himself a beautiful cabin. I said, that's like building a home for free. And they did it. They spent less, less than a hundred or two hundred dollars to build the whole thing because the wood was free, but they wanted some tar paper to keep it insulated. They did it right, in other words. They did it the cheapest way possible. To keep the wind and the water out. Yeah, to keep the wind and the water out, you know? I mean, every time I come out here after a hurricane, it's always the same thing. Oh, my tent got flooded. I said, okay, you gotta learn not to be in a... I have an idea for that. Yeah. Tires and plywoods. Tires and plywoods, look at that, look at that. Tires and plywoods, or make sure you're on top of the hill. <laughs> Don't be in the valley. <laughs> yeah. They had a, this one camp, they had a tire rim. That, that's what they were using for like the fire, mm -hmm. campfires and stuff like that. It actually rotated and everything. Had a lot of fun there, man. Had a lot of fun talking to them. And God, God, I don't know 
almost 100 percent, almost 100 percent of them off the off the streets, almost because they they all just had minor stuff going on. They, so you got so you know, six months is not long at all. You guys got to go? No. We've been here. We've been in this situation for a hot minute. Are you thinking about getting out of it, or I'm definitely or sometimes it's no, some people problem. prefer it. She's the problem. Oh, housing, right? You got to sneak them in. Yeah, we had a, a Dotson and uh, he passed away. But where we're living at, they don't want no dogs either. And yeah, the Dotson's easier than a bulldog. Right? Oh, I know, I know. It doesn't matter the temperament of the bulldog. The bulldog has got the stigma behind it. Right? Yeah, yeah, baby. yeah. Yeah. And, and Matthew's Hope is coming out here once in a while. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Bring your mail and stuff. That's good. And what other what other pick up, other pick up laundry on Tuesday and bring it back on Thursday? Really? Hi, baby. Hi. And like I said, you can go there and shower five days a week. Wow. From eight to one 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 and probably noon. Yeah. What I mean. Is there any agency? Whatever you need. If you need it, Pastor Scott knows you need it. He will, he will He'll try to get it for you. Him. He really is a good man. Uh, I met him. I met him when he was at the other location. A lot of people don't like him, but he's down to earth. He's uh, he seems pretty cool. Yeah. I know he's known him forever. He, he, don't, he, he don't bullshit. I mean, he, and he knows when you're bullshitting with him. Because he's been there. Does he have any housing going on? Oh, yes. He does? Yes. Uh, yes. We have much housing. Much housing. He's got a, he owns uh, five houses right there, right off of 50, in between uh, Park and Dillard. Yeah. Or Park and Main and Dillard. Right, and, right. And uh, they, own, they, they own some of the park, uh, property down there by the apartments. Uh, on that end of town where they had the new city hall. Yeah. On the other side of the bike, bike trail, there's some apartments down there. Oh, I know you guys have those. Yeah. What's yeah, it take yeah. to get into one? What's it take to get into one of those? Just, know. just to know that, just for him to know that you're serious. Okay. Because sometimes it's, it's right 18 required. Months, it's right. no less than 18 months. Okay, like I mean, an 18 you month sign, program. You, you work and you sign over everything to him. And they give you an allowance and they give you housing. And they give you, but he expects you to go to church. He expects you to go to right, right. Uh, I told I told people I said you know what in the time of Egypt um, Pharaoh had that dream remember um, and he was like what does it mean and this guy named Joseph interpreted the dream saying you're gonna have seven good years and you're gonna have seven bad years well he didn't just interpret the dream God gave him the wisdom to know how to survive they started storing up like a prepper for a rainy day and I said, you know what? There it is in the Bible. Some people say prepping is not biblical. You're not operating in faith. If God warns you what's coming, that's a heads up. <laughs> and so I, I several times, several times in the Bible, it's happened with Noah, 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 what he was going to do. Yeah, we're lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 I thank you, God, for the, the, the fellowship I just had with my brother here, and I just ask him to continue to guide his steps and bless him and, and, and continue to help this camp, Father, to come together and be the family that they need to be while they're here, Lord, and, and just protect them, and help them with the temptations and different things, Lord, you know what the needs are here, but please let people come and just love on the people and let love rule in the hearts of everyone here, Lord. And I just thank you for the privilege, God, to come and meet these fine people, Lord. And I pray as I go my way, you continue to guide my steps as you guide theirs. And we thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace, everything that your son done on the cross of Calvary 
dying for our sins, making a way where sometimes it seems like there's no way. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> and I appreciate you Thank so you much. You are a blessing. I'm going to leave this to you guys. <laughs> and that's how it is sometimes on your first visit. You got to break the ice. Talk with those that are willing to talk with you. God bless you, Pastor Joel. Let's love on the community, guys. We can do it. We can do it, all right?